What's up, guys? It's KB. Make sure you subscribe to the Underground Sports Philadelphia YouTube channel. Click the bell icon down below so you don't miss a single video from us. And thanks for tuning in to another video from Underground Sports Philadelphia. Now let's get into it. Philadelphia, baby. You're going to love it. Best sports fans in the world. Actually the worst, but that's what makes them the best. What is going on, everybody? Welcome into episode number 665, and as I sit here, I'm surprised this isn't episode 666 with what I'm going to get into, but it is episode 665 of Underground Sports Philadelphia, presented by the City of Vineland. It's your boy KB coming at you solo dolo, because that's what this show has turned into dough. It's my own solo Philly sports podcast, and recently it's been about life and whatever comes to mind revolving around sports life and everything in between uh this episode should be interesting i was debating whether or not if i wanted to discuss this on this episode but after the day i had um i i do feel a little more okay talking about what i'm going to talk about um so before i get into everything make sure you guys are following us on the socials at underground PHI on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, the whole nine yards across the board on social media. Follow me at KBIZZL311 and KBIZZLE11. Subscribe to the motherfucking pod, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts in audio form. Leave a five star rating and review. It really does help the show continue to grow, helps more people find Underground Sports Philadelphia. And let's just continue to do more dope stuff with and for you guys. And of course, subscribe to the Underground Sports Philadelphia YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Underground Sports Philadelphia. We're closing in on 900 subscribers, which means we're closing in on 1,000, which means we begin plaque chasing sooner rather than later. So please keep subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Share it with your friends and family. Ring the bell icon, all that good stuff. Uh, and of course, this show is presented by the City of Vineland, my awesome hometown. And the City of Vineland Municipal Calendar features city organized, city sponsored, and city affiliated events that are of public interest. The calendar, which is accessible at vinelandcity.org, is a good way for residents and visitors to build awareness, remain engaged with city government, and participate in local events. You can also follow the City of Vineland on social media via their Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube pages. And through these tools, you can stay connected to the community and get important announcements about programs and services offered by the city. Vineland, New Jersey, where it's always growing season. And big thank you to Security 21 Security Systems and Paul J. Gillespie Incorporated for their continued support of this podcast Apologies for the yawn. Just got back from the Phillies game with CFO Margie. Unfortunate loss, but it was a, a day that I absolutely needed. Um, as I sit here and record this on August 19th, it was it was a day. You know, it was a day I was dreading in a lot of aspects for a multitude of reasons. Um that not a lot of you probably know um but a lot of you who are in my inner circle do know everything that I was kind of going through last year uh in my personal life and I don't like to talk about my personal life that much on any platform really because it's my personal life I like to keep that to myself and the ones that need to know end up knowing but um yeah your boy was in a long distance I guess you could call it situationship it was never an official relationship um to whose fault who knows and it went on for six months um from like end of january to june and then a little bit beyond um when when the good times were good they were fantastic and i i will sit here and kid you not there are very few people who kind of know this 
uh, there were moments in time where I was sitting no free ads on Zillow and on different websites and stuff looking to see how much or how I could find a way to afford to move to the location in which I was seeing said person. Um, you know, there was, there was a lot that went into it. I had gone up to where I was at, uh, three different occasions. One was a day trip and let's just say it was much more than just a, a stroll down the lane. Um, multiple hours, five to six at that. Um, and man, let me tell you, like, Getting lied to or or not being told the whole truth fucking sucks. And I ended up discovering it on my own fruition that something was going on and that I had kind of been strung along in a lot of aspects. And it wasn't cool. It, it did a lot to me mentally that I I kept away from a lot of people. I didn't feel comfortable talking about it because I just felt like a fool. I felt played. I felt deceived. I felt myself questioning so much about what I had just gone through the last six months and how much of it, you know, was genuine during the time her and I were together doing what felt like the the start of a potential relation we had talked about a lot of like adult things and what we both saw from this connection we had um you know i i sacrificed a, a few moments in time that you know looking back i wish i had back you know there was some season ticket tickets that were sold in order to go and spend a weekend up there um there was a lot of time away from podcast stuff going on and it, it was one of those things that you know I'm at a point in my life where at the time I was 29 I'm 30 now and believe it or not your boy does not have crazy long laundry list and in some aspects it's great some aspects it's not I I don't have experience dating like that and it is rare for me to really recognize that I want to invest my time in somebody time is is so important to me it is probably my number one most valued thing in life is my time and when that gets messed with it, it really irks me in so many ways um and, and I invested a lot in in this whole situationship to the point where I was thinking like do I need to move do I need to be closer so that this can work um and then at the end of the day come to find out she ends up start seeing another dude um for how long? Who fucking knows? Um, but it, it, it did a lot to me. And, you know, the last time I was in a relationship and my ex and I are on, on good terms, we are totally fine now, as far as I know. Um, you know, when, when that breakup happened, I took the bull by the horns and have built underground sports to where it is now. And then this happened, and that was really the first, like, true relationship-esque heartbreak I've had since then. And the crazy thing is, is this one hurt even more. And it's, I think it's because I'm more of an adult now than I was back then. And you, you realize sometimes things mean more as you get older and when you feel things they feel different and life changes and it's the first time in my life that outside of remote like inner circle friends and obviously direct family that I have genuinely felt love for someone and that again is rare 
that, that doesn't happen, and it really felt like the first time. And and to tell someone that you love them and to not hear it back shatters you in a lot of ways. Um, and, you know, to, to have a full year come through and, and fly by the way that it did and also go ever so slowly all at the same time really really put a lot in perspective and you know as as the calendar rolled around to this day which is like the day that they officially announced hey world we're we're fucking dating um it 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 put a lot in perspective and it, it was really, you know, the world's fun way of saying, Hey, I'm looking out for you that I had a season ticket game pop up today that I was going to spend the entire day at my favorite place on earth. That brings me so much joy, no matter if the Phillies win or lose. And I feel a sense of just elation and camaraderie <clears throat> and love and genuine just like feeling when I'm at Citizens Bank Park and I got to spend that with my mom and if you know me any inkling of me you know my mom and I are super close in so many ways she is my rock she's somebody I can always lean on in in any time of need she is somebody I can go to for advice. She is somebody who has helped Underground Sports Philadelphia continue to break boundaries and push forward. And I don't even think she knew until I posted on Facebook on our way up to or on our way back from whenever I posted it. It was either there or from when I posted on Facebook that I, I needed today and, and everything had happened and um, it, it was, <laughs> it was a day that like, I think going into it, my mom had no idea I needed, but at the same time, I think she did because mother's intuition is like no other superpower on earth. Um, it, it was a weird <laughs> universe way of saying, Hey, I got your back this time. You're going to spend an entire afternoon with your mom at your favorite place and you guys are going to enjoy a day together doing something that you two have come to know and love as a new tradition in your life and that's going to our Sunday afternoon Phillies games together with our season tickets um, and it really was just like a full circle moment of kind of centering myself and saying hey a year ago, you were at one of your lowest points in life. You didn't really know what was going on. You had you had so much happen in the span of time that you were learning about so much and, and so many things in your life were happening. To now, a year later, you are, you're where you need to be. You know, I... I couldn't run a Philadelphia-based media company not being in Philadelphia. And I always think, you know, what if I what if I did stupidly move away to Massachusetts, which is where I was going? I would have looked like even more of a moron doing that. And you know, it it really put into perspective today sitting and watching my favorite team play baseball and my favorite place on earth and it was like the universe saying hey you're you're exactly where you need to be Kyle you're exactly where you need to be that was fucking it was, it was one of the weirdest yet like most satisfying feelings I've ever felt 
And I know this isn't like your score updates and everything, and I promise the episodes are going to get back to a somewhat normal pace soon. But it was just, it's one of those things that like I've had to kind of like hold this back for a year and haven't felt comfortable or had the right time outside of a few select people to like talk about this. And what better way that this is kind of a solo show now than to talk to the people who listen to this show, who I tend to believe care about me and care about the well being of this company and successes that we have. So, you know, when, when I'm sitting in section 329, seat 16 row five and just realizing like life is crazy (laughs) life has a weird way of just showing you where you need to be at any given moment and I'm not the type of person that regrets much and I don't regret my time with this girl whatsoever you know when it was going good like I said it was great and it was like one of those things that was like am I gonna spend the rest of my life with this girl who knows? You know, and obviously that's not the case. But then you fast forward a year later and the things I've gotten to experience since last August to now would have never happened if I had moved away, if I had been doing all of this shit remotely from somewhere that's not even close to my favorite fucking city on earth. Like, being away from Philly would have killed me internally and just, like, spiritually. Not being surrounded by so many amazing people that I have in my life that I get to work with at this podcast network that I have founded from the fucking ground up, that I'm so goddamn proud of. Not only would I have been away from my family, who I care about so goddamn much, my life would have been flipped upside down in a matter of months. Who knows, weeks maybe. And I wouldn't have had any way of fixing it anytime soon. Life is crazy, guys. Um, and, you know, be, having to kind of shelter like this because I haven't known how to talk about it because it's just weird and it makes me feel like I was being played and being strung along for such a long period of time in my life. And like I said, I value time more than any intangible thing on this earth and when my time is not taken seriously it it really infuriates me and like I mentioned earlier in the episode like the last time I was dealt a heartbreak in a relationship aspect I built this company and I built this podcast with the help of my friends and the help of everyone who works here for this company and we built something really special that I can only hope continues to grow in the directions that we're pushing it towards. Now I have dealt with heartbreak and truly feeling at my lowest point in that realm of life when it comes to relationships and things like that for a year. And I think I have gone a hundred times harder in the paint to help make this company a fucking juggernaut. I know we have had some mishaps here and there with scheduling and everything, but we have built something that I can't tell you how proud I am uh, of doing all of this. And knowing that I have the motivation and fuel and willpower and support... To do what I did for five years, building us to get where we are now with Underground, who the fuck knows what I'm capable of doing with this motivation behind me. 
The possibilities are endless. And I'm telling you guys right now that you ain't seen shit from us yet. This is well into the 600s of episodes. And we have recorded thousands of episodes of podcasts here. I'm telling you right now, you ain't seen shit. You have not seen a lick of what we're capable of. And what I know we're going to accomplish. And it's going to feel that much sweeter when it does get accomplished. I'll tell you that much, man. I'll tell you that much. Because the things that we are plotting and scheming that I can't even talk about yet. It's unreal. It's unreal. But to be kind of centered again and and getting my own personal life perspective back on what's meaningful to me, what's important to me, who is important to me is invaluable. And and today was a day that like my soul needed it more than anything. And it was like such a such a heavy weight <laughs> lifted off of my shoulders. And I just I, I I genuinely am so lucky. And who knows how many of you will listen to this episode. Um, You know, it's hard. It's hard being 30 years old and navigating through so many different aspects of life that growing up was like, this is the norm, and now it's not. And kind of just coming to that realization that, hey, you just got to live. And and sometimes you lose sight of that. And for the most part in my life, I have not lost that, luckily. And there's there's a lot of people who, who push me to unspeakable levels of motivation. Both positive forces and negative forces who push me in the same direction that's getting to that mountaintop of making this the best goddamn podcast network and digital media company there is on the planet i want underground to be mentioned in the breaths of the john boy medias the ringer barstool i want us in that i want to be in that room that is the goal with this from day one is to be mentioned In those categories. As the top internet brands. And to have the people I do. And the support system I do. And and the close people I do. To have the parents I have. To have the sister I have. You're not stopping me. You're not stopping me. I um... I I, it, I I stared out at the bell at Citizens Bank Park today, and I was like, "You're back." This last year was tough for a lot of reasons, but you're clawing through, you're battling, and everything's gonna be okay. At the end of the day. Shit gets thrown at you. Life occurs. But the show goes on. And you're going to be alright. It's going to hurt for who knows how long. Will it still hurt a year from now? It might. Who knows? But at the end of the day, I know I'm where I need to be. 
I'm surrounded by who I need to be surrounded by. And I'm doing what I need to be doing in life. Creating, podcasting, working for myself is what my destiny is. And I didn't know what the future held for me. Pretty much for half a year of 2023. And, you know, it was scary going into the final bits of that year where I'm turning 30 and you know you just had your heart broken by somebody that you fell in love with and you know so much had occurred prior to that that you just didn't know 2023 was a crazy fucking year for me and I'm sure for a lot of people but man as as time went on and and you know there's still nights that that suck and you sit up late at night wondering what went wrong what did you do wrong that that self guilt and self doubt creep up a lot But at the end of the day, you just push forward because you know there's people who are in your life, near and far, who care about you, who care about what you're doing, how you're doing it, and want to see you succeed in every facet of whatever the fuck you put your mind to. And I am so lucky that I have... Lots of people in my life who provide that. And I'll I'll tell you right now, nobody, and I mean nobody, has a better mom than I do. She is the best. She is a fucking rock star. On a day like today, to have her in my corner and having her support and having her undivided attention and love and and just enjoying a day and enjoying a new tradition with in adulthood with my mom is the coolest thing I get to do. And I know there's a lot of people I know personally and people I don't know at all who don't have that ability to do that with their mom. And I cherish every single second that I get to spend with her. Because she has pushed me to make sure that I don't quit on myself time and time again. And to have her on a day like today... That has been, I've been dreading it because I knew what it symbolized and and how much grief and and strife it caused me and, and just stress and pain and heartache. She, she was there and whether or not she knew it from the jump, it, it really... I, I'm just really lucky at the end of the day. I'm lucky that I'm where I need to be. And I encourage everyone to 
sit back and, and check themselves and figure out are you where you need to be in life right now not none of that five year plan shit none of that are you where you need to be in life right now and if not what do you need to do to get there who do you need to talk to to get there? Where do you need to go to get there? I encourage you to just ask yourself that. Because as I sat in my seat in Section 329 at Citizens Bank Park staring out at the giant neon Liberty Bell, I, I said to myself internally, I'm where I need to be. And a year ago, I didn't know that. I didn't know that about myself. I didn't know where I needed to be. But now I know. And that's not changing anytime soon. I'm lucky. I love you, Mom. I love everyone in my inner circle who knew minimal to the whole story about all of this that I've been going through the last year just internally and externally um, shout out to homegirl <laughs> that's what I'll call her for the sake of Anonymity. Shout out to Homegirl. You broke my heart. You led me on. We had fun. And at the end of the day, you've motivated me to levels I didn't know I was capable of a year ago. And I can't wait. To showcase how fucking awesome this company is going to be. And the driving force behind it is you essentially telling me to go fuck myself. <laughs> Gotta love it. Cheers to you. I have a super secret project as well. Based around this whole chapter of my life that is going to be so awesome to unveil when the time comes. And I can't wait to share it with you all. Um, it's going to be super cool. And... <laughs> You'll, you're gonna, you're gonna like what you see when it happens. I guarantee that. You're gonna love what you see. Love yours. Tell your people you love them that actually give a shit about you. And again, I want everyone who's listened and watched this episode to sit back and ask yourself if you're where you need to be right now. Make sure you guys are following us on the socials. Also, quick shout out. Just got back from Citizens Bank Park. 47 brand. Not an ad. They they just they just knock it out of the park every single time, guys. I'm telling you, 47 brand is the GOAT. The GOAT. I, I genuinely can't leave Citizens Bank Park anytime I'm there without stopping in the 47 brand store and seeing what new hats are there. It's it's unbelievable. Shout out to Dominic Farrell and 47 brand. They are the best. Um, make sure you guys are following us on the socials at Underground PHI. You can follow me at KBIZZL311, KBIZZL E11 on Instagram. Uh, subscribe to the pod, especially for an episode like this. Subscribe, please. I'm begging you. Subscribe to the pod. Leave a five-star rating and review. Subscribe to the Underground Sports Philadelphia YouTube channel. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. 
Let me know. Uh, if you've dealt with anything like this, would love to relate it to anything. Um, ring the bell icon as well. So, you know, when new videos go live, uh, I will be back with another episode very soon. I promise we're getting the schedule back on track. It's been crazy. It's been wonky, but we're figuring it out as we go. And this show is presented by the city of Vineland. Whether you're a company looking to expand, relocate, or you're a new business startup, selecting the right location is critical to your success. Are you where you need to be right now? Well, Vineland, New Jersey offers both an affordable business location and an excellent quality of life. The city's economic development department is a one-stop source for moving your project through the development and approval process. And their goal is to make this process as smooth as possible and to provide the fastest turnaround times in the region. If you are considering potential locations for your operation, contact the Vineland Economic Development Team at 856-794-4100. That's 856-794-4100. Vineland, New Jersey, where it's always growing season. And big thank you to Security 21 Security Systems and Paul J. Gillespie Incorporated for their continued support of this podcast it's been episode number 665, keeping it real with KB type flow of Underground Sports Philadelphia. I love you guys. I appreciate the hell out of everybody who listens and watches this show on a weekly basis. I'll be back on the next one, the 666 episode. <laughs> but until then, I'm getting the heck up out of here and I'm signing off. Peace. Peace.